All right, here we are. Let's talk about the Rosetta Stone of bass drum work. And basically what that means, and we're gonna start here with this top piece, is that we are looking at every potential combination, starting with one bass drum note, and then two, and then three, and then four, about where the bass drum would be played, again, all possibilities, within the world of the one and three. Meaning when we play a basic drum beat and I'm playing one and two and three and four and, that bass drum is falling on the one and the three. Now we're gonna break that one and three instead of just eighth notes counting the one and two and three and four and that I'm doing here with my hi-hat. We're gonna break it up into four notes. So it still follows this world of one, two, three, four and breaking up in half of each of those into one and two and three and four and. The final piece that we're gonna add is we're gonna cut those ands and those numbers up in half themselves and create this. One E and a uh, two E and a uh, three E and a uh, four E and a. Uh. Now in these drum grooves, my hi-hat only plays on the one and two and three and four and but I'm using that as a reference so you see that these E's and the U's fall in between those one and two and three and four and. And in place, we have groups of four for every number, meaning one E and a, uh, there's four, two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a, uh, okay? So we break that up into four groups, and within that, I have on the one, one E and a, uh, and then on the three, three E and a. Uh. My two and four are gonna stay steady just on the snare drum with that basic groove that I just played. And my hi-hat will stay consistent with the eighth notes. One and two and three and four and. My bass drum is going to explore all possible variations within that realm of 16th notes on the one, one E and a, uh, and on the three, three E and a. Uh. And to back this up and support this, anything I play within that world of those four notes on the one, I will copy and play the same thing on the three. And if you look at this, now this is a sheet that I received from Todd Suckerman. It talks about the idea of just focusing on the two and the four with the snare and the one and three. But here we only see the snare drum being focused on the two and we don't see anything with the four. So what this really tells you is you're doubling that. So what I play on the one and two, I'll copy for the three and the four. Meaning, if I play one on the bass drum, two on the snare drum, three on the bass drum, four on the snare drum, what I did was I copied that second piece. So if I played the one E, one E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, I will copy it again in the world of the three and the four. Three E and a, uh, four E and a. Uh. So I'm just continually getting every single placement. So in the beginning, I will play the bass drum on the one and the three. The second time, I will play it on the E for both the one and the three. Then I'll play it on the and for both the one and the three, and then the uh for the one and the three. So it goes one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh. that was the first note. Then one E and uh, two E and uh, three E and uh, four E and uh, and I'm going through all of the different placements. So I start with one, and then eventually I do two. One E and uh, two. Oh. The idea is really that we cover one note and then two notes and then three notes and four notes. So I'll play this slowly so you can see what's going on. But it's you building up the comfort of that that bass drum can fall anywhere that it could be, whether it's one note, two notes, three notes, or four notes, that you're comfortable within the world of one and three. And that's the start of this. And then from there on, we can really take that to being somewhere within the realm of two and four where the snare drum falls and any other combination. So let's keep it simple. We'll do it within the world of the one eanda and the three eanda. We'll start with one note placement, then two notes, then three notes, then four notes. And I'll play it slow so you can pick that up. Okay, so here I'm gonna play the first one and I'm just gonna go with this. So listen to what I'm counting and I'll say louder where the bass drum is falling. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one E and 
a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a Woo! That's a lot to say in one shot. But what I did throughout all of that is go through every possible combination. Uh, I hope I didn't miss one. Whew, that's a lot of breath. But to look at with one note, and then with two notes, and then with three notes, and then with four notes, that's all we're trying to do is feel out all the places that it would happen. And then again, the next step from there on out is making sure that we are going back and then trying that with the world of the two and the four where the snare drum is at. But that's all it is, one note or two note or three notes or four notes or eight notes and the placement. This here was just one, two, three, and four. But we can take it and we can layer bass drums with 16 notes the entire time. We can pick and choose which ones we pull in place. But as we go through this, by the time you're done with this and you have a lot of comfort with it, you really have that recognition and that awareness of where it could go. And that doesn't always mean when you play a groove that it's gonna follow the same thing every time, or it'll always follow in the world of the one as it will on the world of the three. 